Hello everybody again, Janice L. Blake here. I'm showing you how to trap feral cats. And this is trap number three I'm showing you. And this is the best trap to get. It's the easiest to operate, it's the quietest, and the cats like it the best. This is called an LTD, you can get it online. You should have to search for it. I don't know what the company name is. So the difference is, this has two little, two little rings down here. And you lift them up, then you lift up the door, and it's got a latch over here. And it's a lot easier to, to deal with than the uh, latch on the other one. You just latch it up like that, and then come around here to the back part. And it's got this lovely door that opens up. You put the food in there, and then it lowers back down, and it has a, another latch on it so it doesn't pop open. So uh, again, what happens is the cat walks in here, and then trips, you know, um, I can't get that, but steps on the plate, and then this drops down, and then you have your cat. Then once you have the, the cat trapped in there, you don't run up to the trap because the, the cats aren't used to human, um, uh, being so close to humans, so they're going to freak out and they're going to headbutt the, the trap and they're going to scrape their face up and stuff like that. So you walk up very slowly. When you deal with animals, everything is slow and easy, quiet. Um, animals don't like loud noises or fast movements. So if you can force yourself to go slow, easy, everything is ease and flow. So you walk up to the cat, you know, nice kitty, calm down, calm down. And you put your blanket over the cat like that, and the cat will calm down because now it's dark. It doesn't know anything. So it's kind of like a bird. You do the same thing with a bird if you want the bird to go sleep, to, to sleep. So that's the way um, you use this trap. This, see, I'll show you here. Um, this trap has the rings, and it's a lot easier to operate. And this ha trap has the door where you have to kind of bend back the um, bar and then you have to lift it up and then you have to uh, latch it up like that and this one is so much more much easier um, the only problem could be is if it happens to tip over like if the cat is really wild and it tips over what can happen is the door opens so I'm not sure if that's um, on purpose by design or um, it might be because if, like if you get in a car wreck it might just open to let the cat out you know so anyway that's something that you have to watch you don't put it on an uneven um, surface in your car all right so those that's a, a 300 traps and I'll see you on the next video thank you very much check out my links down below this video thank you